So working on the smoke tank, I have a second header tank that I was gonna place on the right side. I have it over here. The problem I'm running into is my smoke pump is mounted where the battery usually goes. I have my battery up front as a EarthX um, under the, under the uh, boot cow. But so I have a plate here, but the, the cap on this header tank goes right where this plate is. And I have to put some standoffs there the stringer on the bottom kind of runs into it. I kind of had it fitted pretty good right up against there. So I think I'm gonna forego the six gallon, plus it's a real tight fit to get it in there. I'm gonna to have to undo my aileron pulley because you gotta kind of turn it sideways and fit it in there. And um, so what I've done is I had the bottom piece and angle. I got some plain clips that will attached to the bottom plate. And I also have the angle that goes across here that I've drilled holes in for the, the, the header tank. But I think I'm gonna switch it over to, actually I am gonna switch it over. And I can always put that larger header tank in just to take more things apart. But I got a three gallon uh, Har, uh, West Marine gas tank. It's already got a cap at the top. It's got a little gauge here. It's got a quarter inch pipe thread. So I think it's like 5 16ths or 3 8 hose, which is the hose with my smoke system pump. And so that's a three gallon. And I modified this header tank bottom plate. And I uh, this has kind of an area you strap it into your boat for an extra gas tank. So what I've done is I've made these uh, with an angle and some metal strips. I first had the idea of doing two outside strips. I should have just done one long strip, but regardless, it works like this once I rip it in. So it fits in that groove there. And then this gives kind of the strap a, a place to hold the tank here. I got the bottom plate for the smoke tank in. Too, this wasn't too difficult. The first screw you do isn't too hard because you can move the plate and get to the back. So I got that plane clamp there. My anti chafe tape came out from underneath it. And then this clamp was kind of hard. I had to get my finger up under there to get the nut on the back of this uh, 10 30 second screw. And these are countersunk screws, so they kind of sit a little more flat. I don't have the Tinnerman washer like the it shows for the tank, but they sit pretty flat. Plus, they're they're on the outside, the tank that I'm using, a little bit smaller, but I've aligned it. Basically with the rudder cables, about the same distance as the other side. And then this is the aileron here. So if I wanted to put the six and a 6.9 gallon in, I could, it's a pretty tight fit. Again, I have to mess with that pulley and then offset this smoke pump or even maybe do a different mount or something like that. But the way I have it here is about where the battery was. It's a little bit lighter than the battery, but I got it on the back side of that station. Um, and then of course, like I mentioned before, the earth exit front. But anyway, so the smoke tank will go there. I already have my wiring set up. And then I have to route, the, of course, route up front to the bulkhead that uh, goes through the firewall. But uh, this was the biggest challenge I had was trying to find a tank to fit in this little space. It's not six and 6.9, it's three gallons. So they give me about six minutes of solid smoke if you're doing half a gallon a minute. We'll see how it works. Um, just kind of a novelty. Okay, so far I have installed the pump. And this is how I had uh, set it up on the, the station here with clamps, plain clamps. And then it's got a rubber mounting the pump itself so trying to figure out the routing um the inflow is pretty easy because it goes straight down into the in intake of the pump there and so i use some zip ties 
grip lock ties here to uh, help with the routing and make sure that that's secured. Uh, the one thing is um, I previously decided that I was going to put the fill cap at the back here. Um, some, may, some may be wondering why I didn't put the fill cup or the fill cap here at the front. Just basically flip this around. And what that would happen is uh, this bigger side would get filled while I'm in my takeoff or my, my uh, ground configuration with the tailwheel down. But when I got level as I was flying, then it would possibly be above this cap because this cap's kind of sunken down and they have a major line here. So this area on this side, so it's a thicker side, is uh, does not hold gas because otherwise this cap is vented. And well, I'm holding smoke oil in here, but I would be afraid the smoke oil would come out. You could possibly fill it fuller if you had the cap up on this side, but then you'd have to 180, because this, this won't turn here. You'd have to 180 your line back so I decided to do it this way. Um, I may have a little less smoke oil, uh, you know, if I, if I filled it to the brim, but um, I didn't want to have a chance of once I got into a takeoff configuration, flying level, that uh, it would leak out of this vented cap. And then this other line, the decision was I used the 90 here and kind of brought it up and around instead of taking it through next to this aileron wire control cable here um, kind of a couple different I thought about maybe clamping something here on this tube but what I ended up doing just coming around towards the center um, using a standoff here to hold it and then one on, on the top here and clamping this worked out really well clamping the valve so I kind of twisted it so it's hard to tell with the camera but I twisted it so it's more level because this this tube is kind of coming up towards the front so this would have made the, the back end down and the top end up but I kind of twisted it twisted it around so it's level and then I'm continuing with routing the hoses to the front but the other thing is I didn't make the tank with a detachable link here I have one of the quick disconnects and um, the tank's not very heavy. A lot of times you use a quick disconnect when the pump and the tank on the traditional smoke tanks are all mounted together. The pump is actually mounted on the tank on some of the designs. And my thought is that, well, this is, I wouldn't be saving much by pulling this tank out. Uh, maybe I have some storage in here, but I mean, I take a half hour to pull off these hoses. I wanted to actually remove it for some reason. But um, this is just going to be under the baggage compartment. Um, this gives me a little bit more weight in the back, which which it possibly needs because this is where the battery usually goes. But um, other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with how this design has come out. And uh, I've gotten a couple extra months here waiting for the engine still and able to uh, fabricate this. Everything else is pretty much done on the plane, except for a couple of fairings on the doors and flap gap seals and stuff like that. And putting the panel back together with the closeouts. Those kind of came off. Anyway, so I put that belt vertical because in the instructions it, um, may leak if it's sideways and without the you only adjust that like the first few times so i could just unscrew the baggage forward and then make the adjustment maybe mark where the adjustment is but everything is held down this is the one last thing i gotta figure out what to do with maybe cut it more short zip ties standoff i left the zip ties a little long for now if i need to tighten or loosen those uh, grip ties you can loosen up. But everything is tightened down. And I got this panel in. I uh, attached the hose to various cross members in there. Cut, cut a pass through for the hose under here. And then 
and uh, you can see on this side, it goes all the way to the front. So that is the pass through. Goes through the firewall. Got two uh, thick washers on each side. I need to put the red adhesive or red RV RTD. That's the high heat stuff. And then uh, this particular smoke system helper has a nozzle into the exhaust on the left and the right. So I got a left and a right, or right and left. So once the engine comes, that's the next step. But all the in cabin. Smoke system it is installed. So turn on my master, the smoke arm, which activates the relay, and then this turns the smoke motor on. Which right here is empty. I don't want to run too much, but every time you want smoke, press the button. You turn the smoke arm off, and that does nothing if you accidentally hit it. So basically that is a relay that puts the larger wires and you can uh, make just a automotive relay where you can just have a small grounding and it will activate that relay and make this larger motor that has a 16 gauge wire turn on with that small wire. So now I have the seats all the trim pieces except for the closeout for the control stick, but all the trim pieces in with the hose going through and everything fits. The baggage floor was the biggest concern because of the kind of got angles there and it did, it barely misses that second angle over there on the, um, the, the outlet from the tank that goes to um, the, the pump. So it, I may have to adjust these holes a little bit because I can feel it touching that a little bit, but otherwise it clears it. The only other thing is this, this closeout behind the seats, I'll have to uh, cut right here just because uh, the hose is, is positioned about right there. So I'm gonna cut that one, bit, put that one back and that just closes out all this, but you know, enough for all my wiring and everything, plenty of room there. And uh, baggage compartment, of course, is huge in the S21. Um, after I fly it, I may just uh, cut an opening right there. So the, the tank to fill so just cut some sort of opening there um you can kind of see where the rivets are with these supports and of course on the pilot side it's your tank your header tank is a support here but these are angles that support this part so um it's all installed cabin wise and the next step is the engine don't have that, of course, and hooking up the left and right tubes to go to the exhaust nozzles. So I've gotten questions in the past about why I would do a smoke system, what would be the purpose. It's just for fun. That's really all it is. This is plan on doing some backcountry flying, you know, some of those strips have a hill or a you know like up in Idaho where there's a mountain or something in the background it's hard to see or even just uh, coming into the pattern somebody's looking for you you can flip a little bit of smoke to show you where you're at I'll throw some smoke out just to kind of say hello so no particular uh, you know plan just uh, seems like a fairly easy installation comparatively to the rest of the plane and i just took this time waiting still waiting for the engine to kind of complete that so that's it yeah no the smoke system will be for fun and uh i'll make a second part of this video when i uh get the engine get the exhaust 
on and figure out the best positioning for the left and right injector into the exhaust to get the best smoke. Till next time, thank you. Mm -hmm.